Oh, I was, I've been doing comedy for since 2003. I've never played here and the theatre is amazing. It's just a beautiful, beautiful theatre. So I'm hoping that tonight's going to be a cracker. to Aberdeenshire, like, you know, we've done gigs in Stoney and West Hill and Bridge of Dawn, all over the place now. And Naz phoned me one day and went, I need a comedian, and I went, all right, and that was pretty much it. I'm the guy up here, the guy who booked me for this, his name is Naz, right, he phoned me up and he said, Liam, yeah, we know Naz, yeah, he phoned me up, he said, Liam, I've got some great news, tonight's gig at the Tivoli has been put in all the local newspapers, as number one on a list called Top 10 Things to Do in Aberdeen Tonight, right? I thought that was pretty good. Yeah! Yeah! Exactly! So I arrived in Aberdeen today, I bought a local paper, I looked at the list called Top 10 Things to Do in Aberdeen Tonight, and I shit you not, there was only six things on it. Now that is... <laughs> number two was go for a walk. I'm in Aberdeen regularly for Brainet Comedy over at the Blue Lamp, we're there every Saturday, so I'm there probably once or twice a month to come up and speak to the, the Aberdeen crowd. Played the Lemon Tree before, supporting Tom Stage, who's closing tonight, so I've been coming up here for years, eh? I've come to Aberdeen now for about five or six years doing tour shows. This is my first time at the, uh, whatever the hell this place is, the Tivoli, is that where we are? So we're, uh, most of the time I, I play in small bars and all of that sort of stuff, like uh, lemon trees and all that sort of shit. But uh, being asked to be one of the first guys to play the Aberdeen Comedy Festival has been, uh, you know, I mean. But as for audience-wise goes, I mean, this is Scotland's, like, you guys are definitely one of the more liberal audiences that I've seen. You really, uh, uh, anything goes. It's very hard to offend a Scots person. I really, really enjoy it. I mean, I couldn't stop laughing. It feels like it's the start of something big. 